Hey everyone, ZANU PF says it's suspending elections for the next 10 years. This statement was released by ZANU PF party on their Facebook following secret meetings with CC leader Welshman N Cube. They said they want to consolidate power under Emerson Dambudzo Manangagwa, so there'll be no elections till 2030. In a recent statement following secretive meetings between CCC leader Welshman Incube and ZANU PF President Emerson Menangagwa, it was announced that to keep up the pace of development, Zimbabwe will not hold elections for the next decade. This move is intended to maintain the dynamic progress achieved under Menangagwa's Second Republic. Under President Menangagwa, Zimbabwe has initiated key projects aimed at revitalizing its economy, introducing the Zimbabwe gold currency, and making strides in the lithium sector, just to name a few. These initiatives are seen as pillars of hope and growth. The rationale given for this electoral pause is that political stability is crucial for nurturing these positive changes. Without the disruption of frequent electoral cycles, the government can focus entirely on these transformative efforts. But this isn't just about economic reforms. There's a much larger picture here. The decision to suspend elections raises profound questions about democracy and governance in Zimbabwe. Critics argue that this move could potentially consolidate power in the hands of the current administration, sidelining opposition and stifling democratic freedoms. Given Zimbabwe's history of electoral violence and political repression, as highlighted by organizations like Human Rights Watch, concerns about human rights and the integrity of governance are at an all-time high. Human Rights Watch has previously pointed out the repressive environment surrounding elections in Zimbabwe, with opposition parties often being restricted and facing violence. The current decision could be seen as an extension of these tactics, where the ruling party secures its position by removing the electoral threat altogether. So, what does this mean for Zimbabwe and its future? On one hand, uninterrupted governance could indeed allow for sustained developmental projects, on the other, the absence of elections could lead to unchecked power, potentially veering away from the principles of democracy and risking civil unrest. As international observers, policymakers and Zimbabweans themselves contemplate this development, the global community watches closely. Will this bold gamble on stability and development pay off, or will it compromise the democratic fabric of the nation? Only time will tell. That's it for today's analysis. Thanks for tuning in, and make sure to keep an eye on how this situation unfolds. It's a critical juncture for Zimbabwe, and its outcome could have far-reaching implications not just for the country, but for the entire region. Stay informed. Stay engaged.